Hey everyone, good morning and welcome to today's video. Um, it is a rainy Sunday today. Um, actually, I kind of like this kind of, kind of rain. It's not like downpouring and there's no threat of thunderstorms. So I will be riding out in the rain and I have my rain jacket on and fully, uh, fully prepared for that. It's not going to be a long ride. It will be a about a two hour ride and we're heading over to uh, Candlewood Lake because it is the flattest road that I can find. I am forecasting about two hours of riding this morning. Anyway, let's uh, head on out. So you might notice that I am wearing different pair of sunglasses today. Um, I have my Tifosis on and that's because I actually like riding in these because they can they have a clear lens and they transition in the sun but there's no sun today so I'm taking advantage of the clear lenses so that I can see a little better on these rainy conditions. Um, yeah, not the best condition to be uh, riding through, but I do like that it's pretty cool, as in temperature-wise. It is not, it has not been as hot as it's been in the uh, my previous rides. So, I'm just gonna go nice and slow, getting to uh, Candlewood Lake Road. And because uh, there are some hills, and I like the the tires, but I don't know how great they are in wet conditions. I know that I've gone through a pretty steep road uh, when the road was wet after rain and uh it did skid on me so that's something i have to uh remember the only other time that I have ridden in rainy weather was with Jason at Reading and it wasn't as uh, as bad as today um, well it's not terrible right now it's just the eh, rain's just coming down but not downpouring like what we normally get here um, so this is nice and it's like I said before the temperature is a lot cooler so I'm actually feeling pretty good um, I'm kind of stopped under this tree, but I don't know how much it's helping me right now, but I'm all wet, soaking wet, um, but it's fun. It's all good fun. Uh, I, I'm not at Candlewood Lake yet. Um, I'm not sure if I should just keep my sunglasses on or off. What I forget is that sometimes when cars pass me, if there's a, if there's a puddle that they can actually um, soak me, but at, lately that hasn't happened yet. So uh, let's just hope that it doesn't happen my entire ride. crazy to be riding out here. I was just looking over at the lake there and saw people swimming. So I guess rain or shine, we'll be outdoors. So 
So I am, let's see, almost an hour, 57 minutes into my ride with 13 miles down. I am going to turn around here. This is my turnaround spot and I'm gonna go back up again. Um, you could see that the, the lake, all these cars, the lake is pretty gloomy today. But it's kind of nice though. I, I like a different scenery than always sunny. And this is actually, like I said, it's really pleasant uh, when it's this temperature. So um, I'm going to do, I'm going to turn around and then I am also going to come back here. So I'm going to do two loops of this. I don't know if I already said that. Uh, two loops of this road and then I'm going to head back home. So I'm turning around again uh, so this will be my last loop on this road and it's just been a, a really nice ride can you believe it <laughs> not to do is ride during a thunderstorm. I don't think anyone should attempt to do it. And so one of the things that you should try to consider is um, checking the weather report uh, before you do your ride. So especially on a rainy day like this, there's sometimes uh, there could be a threat of thunderstorm and lightning and you don't want to get caught in that. I had a really bad experience last year uh, with Jason and my sister when we went mountain biking in Thunder Canyon which is in Utah just outside of Bryce Canyon so we went mountain biking it was a 30 mile bike ride and uh, it started thunderstorming and uh, while well, we were at the top and that was a really scary experience so luckily today um, as you can see from the roads uh, it's not at all um, the clouds are not as um, dark and ominous looking so there's no um, serious threat of that but um, but it's definitely very enjoyable being out here this is a lot more enjoyable than than um, on a sunny day for some reason the temperature I think really does make a huge difference in this ride so I am done with um, what I, I am just gonna turn around and what I'm gonna do is gonna head back home home in one piece um, soaking wet though but that's you know like I said it was really fun um, I just really enjoyed myself out there uh, most of the drivers were, were pretty good riding around me the roads were were nice because they weren't as crazy as it normally could be in a nicer day but um, just to give you guys the stats for the ride, it ended up being two hours, actually two hours and one minute. I, it's 29.7 miles. Uh, average speed was 14.7 miles per hour. Oh, elevation was only 489 feet of climbing. So yeah, um, that's probably the flattest route I have ever uh, rode on. So that is my actual, my actual go-to route during recovery days. It's some climbing to get there, but you know, not as much as I normally do. So anyway, um, I'll see you guys again next week. I know that I only have 95 subscribers, but next week I'm actually going to do my first century ride. So I'll talk more about that next week. I hope you guys had a really great week and I'll see you next week. Enjoy the ride. Bye-bye.